God bless you, praise the Lord. This is Street Pastor Preacher Warren coming before you here in the midnight hour again. In my street clothes and just like to be down to earth and just have a talk with you out there. God bless you and thank you for praying for me and my wife and sending out your prayer requests and <clears throat> thank God we're getting victory reports. This I want to share more of my preaching videos. Uh, like you already know, I told you already, I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old. Um, in Sunday school at that age, um, in the Greater Refuge Temple Church, and then I branched out into my own ministry and called it Flame of Fire Ministry. I've been doing revivals and different revivals in Church of God in Christ, Baptist churches and the apostolic churches. They have called me to do a lot of revivals down to the years. And yet I still feel like I'm new. God is still raising me up for this generation. So I want to share some of my preaching videos with you from the past. Um, I want to apologize if some parts don't look professional here on the camera, but I just want to share some of my preaching revivals with you. Let me see if I put it on the wide screen. I was preaching up in Bethel, um, the Church of Lord Jesus Christ, and I was talking about the mark of the beast. This is a revival I did. I was in my 20s and 30s at the time. Uh, I just want to share this with you. Okay, hey, I'm wearing a black robe here. I was preaching up in Harlem. Praise God. And I was talking about the mark of the beast. Praise God. So I'm, I'm going to see, can I play it on a wide screen so you can see it even further? All right, so here we go. A message that's now in progress. So here we go. <laughs> Jesus in the school in the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now you're a teacher of Christ, must be real, but the devil will get up. You know what I'm saying? 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 You know what I'm
Preaching up in Bethel years ago. I had to be my middle 30s, 35 years old at the time, probably. Okay, let's go to this part two. This is getting good. I'm talking about money lines and how we're not supposed to have money lines and begging for money. Okay, here we go. I'm 
you quick and then bring it down to your own house. So many churches are not God's house. If a church is being run by witches and warlocks, it's not God's house. If a church is being run by gay people, you all know if it's the truth, I can't carry it out. Then it's not God's house. Can't say it down to somebody. Any church that is proud ain't no good to church. But some of churches ain't God's house. But Bethel was God's house. Can you say it down to somebody? Spiritual mother, Mother Ray. She's on the Lord now. Go ahead, Mother. Raise her. Go ahead. about 35 years old around there praise god i'm still young praise god amen but i was back in harlem on 
I was preaching in a revival. And I had some of this stuff on cable TV, and I want to share some of my videos. We thank God for Prophetess Amanda, who had um, prayed I would transfer some of these other videos to YouTube. It actually, it's on YouTube. You can go to Preacher Warren Preaching at Bethel Church of Lord Jesus Christ, Part 1. Okay, just go to Preacher Warren Preaching at Bethel Church of our Lord Jesus Christ, Part 1. And you can also go to Part 2. Praise God. This is 13 years ago. 13 years ago. You see me first here playing the bass guitar with a band up in Queens and then go right into my sermons. So I just want to share some of my sermons here on here on my video here. Um, I did a lot of other sermons on here that's going to bless you. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. That's when I began to branch out. I was asked to do revivals. and uh, Let's go to another one. You already saw the other one that I didn't show the other time. Mm, flame of Fire. Some reason God want me to go back into this again. Flame of fire. It's, it's popping up again. God must want me to go into this. So, Lord, it's wherever you want. You want me to go into this? Okay. This is what I did. My first video when I branched out called Flame of Fire Part 4. Or you got, if you want to go on YouTube, just go to Flame of Fire. Famous video. Evangelist Warren. Uh, Evangelist Warren. Preacher David Adams. Okay. Well, here we go. Flame of fire. Go to Vangus Warren. I'll preach about hell. So the Lord want me to show this again. Okay, so this is what the Lord wants. And that's it. maybe it's gonna help somebody get saved. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Let me try to put it on the wide screen so you can see it clearer. Excuse me, uh if it don't sound as professional, but if you want to go live, just go to Flame of Fire. Evangelist Warren David Adams. Here we go.
Okay, I was about, at the time I was about 28 years old at the time, 28 years old, let's go to part, the next part, if you want to see it on YouTube, just go to part 4, Flame of Fire, it says famous video, Evangelist Warren, Evangelist Preacher Warren, David Adams, let's, let's see, can we go to part 5, I was talking about hell at the time, okay, let me see, can we go to that? I'm enjoying this. Are you enjoying this, saints? Praise God. Let's see, could I type it up again? We're talking about hell. Um, this is part six. God have me warning people about hell. This is my video I made years ago. I was 28 years old called Flame of Fire. Okay, let's go to part sh six. We got part five and part six. Let's, let's go to that. See, so can I put it on the wide screen for you? Praise God.
the rest of this sermon um just go to my youtube evangelist preacher warren david adams flame of fire it's all 11 parts i did this when i was 28 years old praise god I did a lot of preaching videos i want to share with you that's going to encourage somebody let's see can we go to can I go to some more revival services all right here we go let me see can i find another one i did so many the Lord led me to that one. I didn't even have a plan to even go to that one. But the Lord led me to that one. That's going to bless somebody. Because I know I played it on my last um, YouTube. Preacher Warren in action. If you just want to type it up on YouTube, just go to Preacher Warren in action. And you'll see a lot of my other preaching videos. You're going, you'll see it on my YouTube channel. Um, let me see another one. This was deep here too. Preacher Warren, your action. This is thir now, this one is 13 years ago here. I'm enjoying this. Oh, uh, okay. This is, I preached up in the Apostolic Church in Bethel. Let me, let me see, I put on the wide screen so you can see it even better and clearer. Make sure the sound is up. Praise the Lord. Okay, you ready? Y'all ready out there? Okay, here we go. I know you're ready. Here we go. Can you say amen to somebody? You got so many, these lazy men. 
got the Holy Ghost right in the service. Ula Mahaya Musa. Praise him. Praise him, church. 
Hallelujah. Under the anointing, like an eagle, he still flies. Ooh, Lord. He was receiving the Holy Ghost. I remember these Holy Ghost revivals. That young man spoke in tongues and received the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, that's Ella Biggs. Remember him. The organ player started shouting. He got that organ, he started shouting, so I started playing the organ. Thanks. That little boy praising God. Brother Langley. Praise him, young people. Who am I, Haya Mosai? Oh, my God. I, I can feel that revival right now. Uh, I remember those Holy Ghost Revival. That was in Bethel when I was preaching. Let me see you go to the next part. You can go on YouTube. Just go to Preacher Warren in Action for Jesus, part six. And you'll see it right here that I'm playing right now. You'll see it even, in, even clearer. You get a chance to. Praise God. People start receiving the Holy Young people start receiving the Holy Ghost. It's on a Sunday afternoon. Never forget it. So you'll see different clips of different churches. I remember I preached for uh, Apostle Tyson. He came from um, Salvation Deliverance. Um, I'm the Apostle William Brown, and he started his own church in the Bronx. I was preaching for him, so some of these services you see mixed up when I preached up in Bethel for Bishop um, Bell when he asked to come minister. And these young people were receiving the Holy Ghost. We had young people got baptized. So let's go and so let's shout along with the people right now. Let's let's all shout together. Y'all ready? Let's go to the next part. Little boy praising God, and young man, teenagers started getting the Holy Ghost. He was oppressed, and God delivered him in the service. Yeah, little boy praising God. Go ahead, praise the Lord, son. That young man was oppressed, but he got delivered. Oh, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Full of my higher most high time. Thank you, Jesus. That's Mother Langley, remember her? Sing, Mother. Yes, Lord. Sing, Mother Langley. Now, before I close, let me say a word of prayer for you. And tell me, like, just close your eyes right now. I'm going to say a word of prayer for you. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm not. Okay, yeah, praise God. Hallelujah. I just wanted to share some of my preaching videos. I remember that. Praise God. That's about how many years ago that was? About 12 years ago. Y'all, you, you can you want to rest, watch the rest of it. Just go to Preacher Warren in Action for Jesus, Part 5. And you'll see a whole lot more, more of my YouTube videos I did up in Brooklyn, North Carolina, in Charlotte. Amen. I've been preaching since I was six years old. I remember I did my revival up in... Charlotte, North Carolina, when I was tw uh, when I was 25 years old, but in this one, this was in Harlem. I remember Mother Langley. Mother Langley used to be the secretary of Bishop Patterson. Y'all remember Bishop Patterson? Praise God! And she, when he began to follow my ministry, it was it was a a pleasure. Um, how God put many people in my path who were spiritual mothers and spiritual fathers. Some are alive, and others the Lord took them home. And praise God! But it's bringing back memories, and anointing is still traveling even for today so i got a lot of different preaching revivals i'm going to share a whole lot with you in the future so i hope you enjoyed it praise god i want to encourage you out there those who may be young in your 20s or even younger than that i show you some of these videos because let you know that god can still use young people i mean i started my first street meeting when i was 12 years old on the streets of the bronx and up in harlem where i was born at in harlem on 125th street before i married my wife and move here to New Jersey. Only been married for about two years, about two and a half years, and praise God. And Jersey's not used to a fiery ministry. When I first came to Jersey, it's like a zombie town. You know, they're not used. They have a lot of churches. I believe there's some Holy Ghost filled churches, but it's not not that fire that we used to. So I know when I started preaching up in the streets here in New Jersey, people were shocked because they're like, we're not used to seeing that. You know, because people is like a ghost town. But now the fire is starting to come in the streets. People are starting to come alive. Praise God. They're receiving the Holy Ghost in the streets. And people were getting, was getting the Holy Ghost up in the cabs, on the buses, even the bus drivers. And now the cops are starting to praise the Lord with me and detectives now. And we need a Holy Ghost revival. Um, even though I've been ministering since I was a child, but I feel like I'm still new. I think one day I would like to do a book. The audio about my life and yet I'm still new yeah I'm still new and God has raised me up for this generation there's so much going on around the world the killing and the racism and the gun violence is going on here in the country and <clears throat> um, so much death taking place the coronavirus is coming out again it's like people are getting worse instead of better we know that Jesus Christ is on his way these are the signs of the time that Jesus is coming come on tell us someone Jesus is coming he's coming back at an hour that you think not god wants us to be ready um, we don't know what day or hour he's coming but we do know that he's coming you know, he have gave us certain signs if you read the bible the book of saint matthew's chapter number 24 he said it shall be wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes and diver places i also want to clarify certain things i know when you hear me preach i'm going <laughs> you know that's just the way black preachers preach <laughs> You know, it was always taught the reason why we'll do that, you know, just to keep the pace going. You know, some people, that is how black preachers, we do that. That been the preacher been doing that even before I was even born. My grandfather was a Holy Ghost fire preacher, but I make sure I teach the word. Uh, I don't just automatically just go into the moan, but, God, but mo most of the time I'll teach the word and preach the word and I let the Lord just have his way. Praise the Lord. I know um, there are many people who will say, oh, that's not necessary to shout and run around the church. Um, I grew up praising the Lord. Now these churches now are so intellectual and so educated and been to Bible school. Um, they have their legs crossed up and they said it's not necessary to shout. Well, that's you. But David, dancing for the ark, he said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I know one time there was a 
a man that watched one of my YouTube videos and saw a young man praising the Lord and he left a comment and said, that's not the Holy Ghost, that's not God, that's, that's not God. And I said, no, you be careful what you say. He said, but the Lord ain't going to make somebody shout like that. And he didn't realize people got to be so careful. Stop being judgmental. That young man that was shouting, that man was depressed. He was a, to a point of suicide. And we heard the gospel being preached. The anointing got on him that he needed that release. So people got to be very careful. People just say things out their mouth just because you don't understand it. And just because you may not do that in your church, it doesn't mean it's not the Holy Ghost. So people got to be very careful. He kept, me and him got into it on the on YouTube and so I said, do not say that about that young man. I said, he was going through. I said, he just praising the Lord. Some of y'all got so deep and so educated that y'all won't even shout. And I know there are a lot of churches who showboat. You know, I know people who shout in some churches. I already know some things are showboat, but I can tell when I can tell when something is real. That was real. Now, no show. People's actually getting to live it. Little boys, little girls receiving the Holy Ghost. So that young man who said that. Not long later, the Lord let me go to the man's Facebook, and he was laying on the hospital bed sick unto death. He had tubes all over his body. I saw it. The Lord let me see it. God struck him down with his wrath for speaking against his spirit. So you got to be very careful what you say about God's people when they're praising the Lord. For some reason, God wants me to go this way. Okay, people are blaspheming against the Holy Spirit, living in days where... Oh, yes, you know your Bible, but Jesus said you got lukewarm. He said, if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. People don't like to praise the Lord the way they used to. When I was growing up, we believed in speaking in tongues and receiving the Holy Ghost and bearing the fruits of the Spirit. But now we in this new generation now, this millennium generation, what they call it, oh, they talk about it's unnecessary. You know, all that screaming and hollering is unnecessary. Be careful what you say. Be careful what the David said. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. I mean, if people can do hip hop and Satan worship and go into the clubs and they are there screaming for the devil, but time is synced to God is blowing the trumpet and praising the Lord. They looking at the saint of God like they crazy, like, oh, what's wrong with her? What's wrong with him? But yet you can dance in the nightclub. Yet you going, hey, ho, hey, ho, all night. Up in the club is on Friday and Saturday. Doing your three sums and four sums and five sums and six sums and twenty sums and thirteen sums. You're doing that all. You're doing all that for the devil. You can go run to a Beyonce concert, a, a, a Jay Z concert, or a, a hip hop concert. You get all excited about these celebrities, and many of you are still getting excited about Michael Jackson. But when Michael Jackson died, he never got up. But when Jesus died, he got up from the dead the third day morning. You're still getting excited about Elvis. And he just walked in the building. Elvis just walked in the building. Girls are going crazy. Ah! Oh, yes, he was a king of rock, but he had nothing on the king of kings. Like people, you know, you know, they get excited about people and celebrities. But when they come to Jesus, when they see Christians shouting and praising God, they say, oh, them people are crazy. Oh, them people are fanatic. Oh, y'all holy rollers. Listen, I'd rather be a holy roller than a nosy roller. Come on. The devil don't like when people of God praise the Lord because he knows when you're praising God and you're living holy at the same time. Not just only praising God and shouting, but you're living holy. When the praises go up, the blessings come down. God told Israel on the, uh, when Joshua led Israel, march around the walls seven times and make a loud shout. On the seventh time, the walls of Jericho came tumbling down. It's time to get your joy back. Then you got to look warm. Okay, you still got to still got to live holy and repent. But there's a lot of preachers who lost the fire. Yes, you're preaching the word, but you got no fire. It's, it's boring, dead, and you know if you're in a boring church, get out that church. Obviously, that's not God's church. God is not the God of the dead. He's the God of the living. You've been to them Count Dracula, vampire, werewolf churches where the church is so boring and so dead and so dry, and not to try to put down the preacher. Preaching the same dead Sunday morning ser boring sermons every Sunday. You have there, you sitting there asleep. That shouldn't be in the church. It's so dry and so eerie. And the organ player playing this old Frankenstein Fright Night music. You always used, you always watch Fright Night. 
You think Count Dracula is going to pop out somewhere from the back of you? You think you and Count Dracula's uh, uh, castle, Transylvania? Oh, come on. If you in a dead church, get out that dead church because God ain't nothing dead about Jesus. He's alive and well. Everywhere Jesus went, he was radical. He was on fire. He, he worked miracles. He opened up blind eyes. He raised the dead. He made the lame to walk. Jesus was 30 years old. He was on fire. He wasn't dry. He wasn't dead. But the word of God is fire. You need the Holy Ghost fire. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remissions of sins. And he shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Do not let nobody put your fire out. Jeremiah said, and his word was in my heart. As a burning fire, shut up in my bones. Jer Jeremiah chapter number 20, verse 9. Too many dried up sinks just laid back. And you sit back laid back. Some of y'all too laid back. You sit back laid back. Well, I'm just laid back. I'm just sitting here. But yet they went, but yet when you want God to answer your prayer, you're crying. Lord, Hanks, why are you not hearing me, God? But yet you won't praise him. The Bible said in Romans chapter number 1, verse 21, that when they knew God, they glorify him not as God, neither were they thankful. They weren't thankful, they weren't grateful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened, professing themselves to be wise, but they became fools. They thought they were too educated to praise the Lord. Oh, they had your legs crossed out, but yet time you come out of church, you go into the movies. Or oh, you're getting excited about Captain America, the Avengers, and Spider-Man, and the Incredible Hulk, and or you're getting excited about seeing all these horror movies. But yet, when you're in church, you won't testify. The pastor say, do anybody want to give a testimony? And you can sit in there scared. I, I, I'm shy. Oh, you too shy to talk about Jesus? Or you weren't shy when you was dancing up in the club? Or you wasn't shy when you was giving your, your man a lap dance? Or you weren't shy when you was dancing on the pole? Not to put you down, but time you come to church, you, I'm shy and... Or, that's okay. You look wrong. That hurts the heart of God because God has been so good to us. He saved you. He delivered you from drugs and crack and alcohol. And you won't give him praise. You won't even testify and tell someone what the Lord has done for you. That's the problem with the church. We became lukewarm. But Jesus said, if you're lukewarm, I will spew you out of my mouth. We have to live holy, dress holy, and praise him holy. Because everyone who shouts, it doesn't mean it's the Holy Ghost. Some of them just got emotion. By the time they come out of church, they're back in the clubs. They're still shacking, fornicating, committing adultery, jealous of one another, still doing witchcraft, backbiting each other, won't live right, got the wrong attitude, prideful. That's one of the six things that God hates is a proud look, won't repent, won't forgive each other. So what's the sense of shouting, but you won't forgive? What's the sense of shouting, but you're still pouting? What's the sense, what's the sense of singing, but you're still swinging? Oh, you want to jack somebody up because you're envious of that person. You're envious of your brother and sister. You won't get it right. So you just got emotionalism, but there's no holiness. But when you live holy, because, see, I want to shout and live holy. I want to praise God along with living holy so my, so my praise and my worship to God can please God. They that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. There's a difference between praise and worship. So I just want to encourage you out there keep on praising the lord don't let nobody stop you from shouting and clapping your hand and singing those old time hymn songs i like the old songs i like the old time way the old time way is the holy ghost way let's bring it back to this generation because jesus is the same yesterday today and forever what this generation need is, needs is the holy ghost what you politicians out there need is the holy ghost the police force, the firemen, the doctors. We need the Holy Ghost. That's what's going to make the difference in this country is the Holy Ghost. I know you're trying all you can to make a difference in the world, but you're leaving Jesus out. But Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I feel like preaching. No man comes to the Father but by me. Oh, come out those zombie churches where they lukewarm and dead and just sitting there, won't clap their hands and won't pat their feet, got their legs crossed up.
they waiting to feel something. Listen, I don't wait to feel the Holy Ghost to praise the Lord. I already know he's been more than good to me. When he died on that cross of Calvary and shed his blood for you and me, that's enough for me to want me to make me praise the Lord. People come out of church act like nothing happened. Probably nothing didn't, didn't happen to them. They're just dead. You just have a form of godliness, but denying the power of the other. The church is supposed to be making an impact in the world, casting out devils, seeing dead being raised, seeing blind eyes coming open, seeing cancer being disappear. God is not dead. He is alive. So let's keep this thing alive. You don't got to be a preacher to be used by God. God can use a little girl, a little boy. God can use an ordinary person with you. Just say, Lord, I surrender. So I hope you enjoy these preaching videos. Share it with somebody. Praise God for the Prince of Peace. And go on my YouTube. You can see even more clearer. I'm going to see you again. Amen. Remain a flame of fire. I did another video on my other YouTube channels called Still a Flame of Fire. Street Pastor Preacher Wire. You can go to that. I did another one called um, Wixcraft is in the pulpit. Street Pastor Preacher Warren. You can go to that. And this the net, the third video I just did showing my videos, okay? So I see you again. Thank God for all you who left wonderful comments on the YouTube encouraging me, my wife, missionary Priscilla. And I'm out here. I'm up right now in the midnight time. I like to wake up in the midnight hour and just talk to the Lord and just share a word with you, okay? God bless you. I will see you again.